I You're big, so little sweaty and dirty. I need a bigger drill. <laughs> Always need bigger drills. <laughs> We're Andre and Lisa. We quit our jobs in 2018 and started our life of full-time travel. 2020 COVID hit the world and we got stuck in South Africa. We spent our time creating the perfect travel destination filter, but now we're ready for the next adventure again. Good morning, Buongiorno. everybody. This is day 11. We're walking down the mountain, uh, as you can see, mountain. <laughs> and I'll actually show you, let's just pick through this hill here. You can see a little bit of Falzano Lombardo behind, below us there in the distance. This area here, yeah, that's sort of the great Bergamo area on that side. It's a bit hazy this morning, unfortunately. Okay. Anyway, so today is day 11, yeah, we're going, to, we're on our way down to the testing center. Oh, the light is terrible. Yeah, so we decided because we want to taste freedom. We, <laughs> because we're almost free. I mean, we, it's now after our 10 days of isolation, but we still need to go for our COVID test and wait for our negative, hopefully negative results. Yes, but we are legally allowed to leave our premises yes. now. So we decided to walk because it's just down the road here. Yeah. I said down the road, two kilometers walk. Vertical. Vertical, <laughs> yes, it's deep. So we're going to uh, walk down to the testing center and let's get ourselves probed a bit <laughs> Yay. and we'll see how it goes. We'll see how the town looks like. I haven't been down there in a long time actually. How do you feel about being probed? Uh, not enthusiastic at all, but this time because it means freedom, I am a little bit more mm -hmm. excited. Like the thing is, if we test negative, then we can go for the vaccines as it be. And we can do everything else, and anything And we can else. do other things okay. as well. And we haven't been in contact with anybody, so it's so awkward, man. You know, we, we, we're like, yeah, but we're not. Yeah, we really want to be able mm -hmm. to see family and friends and things like that. All right, let's go do it. Good. Freedom is sweet. Do you taste it? So close, so I close. Taste, I taste freedom. <laughs> Got up. Nice Marker. view. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's uh, let me show you quickly what it looks like, yeah? And now we in public. We're flagging out the window. I'm going to get driven over. You have to remember to look uh, this left and right. Driving the left side of the road. Takes some getting used to. Not allowed in yet. We're not allowed in yet. Damn, but this stuff looks good. We can always ask someone to go in for us. Maybe it's better we don't. Hmm. Didn't even know there's a little uh, river slash stream here, but there's a big river currently down the road here where people go to swim on Sundays. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> Uh, la scorsa domenica mm -hmm. e devi fare il tapone adesso, sono dopo lo dici giorni, ok? Ooh, that was hectic! <sighs> wow, they did both nostrils. I was so not expecting that when she was done. And she said, okay, next one. I was like, what? I saw the shock on Lisa's eyes when the lady says, ah, another no, one. No, 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 the second time is so much worse because it's like, well, you've just had it done. Your nose wiggle, can't wiggle. help it contract. And... Okay, well, it's done. <laughs> that so... was cool. She didn't mind me taking a photo of you on <laughs> me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I got a cool picture. Wait, you got to see this. Was it tickle? Do you see how deep it goes? Yo, it goes deep. Goes, eh? Goes. Oh, my. This is as well. I went uh, second because if Lisa saw it happening <laughs> to me, she would have freaked. Oh, you... oh, no, wait. Damn it. Wait, I want to show you the I picture. I blow my nose so badly. <laughs> I can't really see that. No, no, it's too, too dark. We'll just flash it in. <laughs> we're still on the mountain because we're still waiting for our COVID results. Now, we had some options. We went for the test, like we told you. We could have gone for a rapid test at the pharmacy, but we cheapskates. <laughs> so we didn't. I wonder if you can see in the uh, glass that I don't have pants on. But we opted to go to the provincial testing center, I guess, and they send it off to Bergamo, and then we have to wait. They said, nah, 20, nah, 48 hours, eh? 48 hours. But it's two days later, and we're still waiting, but Lisa said she's got an email. This might be it. This might be it, because we need to try and book a vaccine appointment as soon as possible. So, and of course, we want to get 
off this mountain. I've got something. All right, let's check it out. But it says... Um, it says Esito Positivo. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know what it says. No, I think you need to brush up in Italian. Okay, wait, hold on a second. Yeah. There's an attachment. Okay. Con Esito Negativo. Negativo. Oh, that's me. Oh, damn it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> don't know about you yet. Is there one more? I'm naked, so. Let's just do it. Oh, nice, oh, nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, positive. No. <laughs> I'm positive that I'm negative. Come on, there's no way. You are negative. No, we're negative. Oh, that means we're free. Freedom yes. at last. <laughs> so for what, though? Now what? I don't know. Now we can go places. Okay. No, so, actually, what's most important is now we can book our vaccine. Yeah, so now we've got a clear, clear bill of health. We've just got to forward our results to the ATS, I think. Yes, right? we have to do that. Or as instructed by our certificate, and we're going to hop on immediately onto the online booking system. So what happens is, if you want to just put your name on the list, you're only going to get on, like, the middle, end of, end of August. August. But what we've realized is there's constant cancellations of bookings. So you've got to keep watching it, keep watching it, and then grab it. And there's so many test centers that we're yes. looking for a test center close by because we might not get the same date no. and because we don't want to drive that far. So mm. we're trying to find an appointment nearby and within the next few days, hopefully the next week or so. Testing station to us is only about 10 minutes drive and that's the one we're aiming for, but we're not going to be picky as long as we can get close-ish. The system is so finicky, I've had a quick look at it, but now we can at least go for it when we see an appointment that pop up. Yeah, we were tempted to book before, but the lady at the ATS she did said, tell wait, us we must wait, wait until we uh, get our results. And we at least can get out of here for a change, we can get some exercise, we can go see some family and maybe we can have some lunch or something with someone. <laughs> Yay. Oh, shit. Oops. What well, has just happened? Hi, Lisa. Oops. Mission vaccine booking. In the region we are, they use this online system, but it seems like you just gotta keep looking, and sometimes something pops up that someone cancels, I guess. Now, at the moment, there's no walk in centers available, and we have to use the system. Mm -hmm. So, you see, first available is 26th of August. But you cancel it, and this is my details. Let me try again. Oh, we go. Osho Soto and Brescia. Now, these are that one's okay, seventh and seventh. So, this is a little bit too far for us to go. This is too soon. So, no luck. So, if you were available tomorrow, you don't mind driving, you can get a shot tomorrow. So you just keep doing this ad nauseum. I must say, I think I spent many, many hours clicking back and forth. And here's a perfect example. So when you actually find something, it's, it, it gives you the option of selecting it. And then you have to receive a code to validate your reservation. But as you can imagine, these things get snatched up so quickly. And sometimes you just don't get them. Crazy. All right, let's try this one. Come on, give me the code, give me the code, give me the code. Yes, confirmed. Fantastic. Okay, that's one down. One to go. Oh, that's hot. Little town of Alzano Belombardo below us. It's actually not that little, but it's a nice view from up here. And it's a beautiful day. Yeah, it's Saturday, and that makes it Lisa's vaccination Ooh, day. Oh, a beautiful day to get a vaccine. Mm. We've got a few interesting plans for the day. The vaccination is priority number one, but it's only later yeah, it's today. It's only later to today. So we're going to go out with uh, Lisa's uncle, and maybe we're going to look at a few camper vans just to get a feel of what's available secondhand. This is actually a very bad time of the year mm. to buy a camper van, especially this year. It seems like everybody else wants campers this year because a lot more local travel is encouraged. And because the summer holiday has already begun. That's right. So it's, most people have already snapped up all the good deals. But nonetheless, it's the first time we're able to go out. So we're going to make the most of it and go take a look. Well, we have some lunch somewhere and then we're going to have to get set. Or you're going to get set. Um, I've got a reservation now for Monday. Uh, I'm going to try my luck and see if they want to squeeze me in today. You never know. Otherwise, we'll just go back on Monday. 
But let's see what the day holds. Beautiful blue sky day here in Alzano Lombardo. Welcome to Italy. Okay. Making a quick stop at a camper shop, yeah? Let's check it out. There are quite a few here, but not many available. It's such a bad time of the year. Ci sta come lunghezza per cui sdraiarsi. Però fallo sdraiare. Pretty cool. And the the bathroom has a separate shower. And the shower is at the back. Yeah, it comes at a bit of a price because you lose your garage space, yeah. You lose a bit of garage space, but you've got a completely separate mm. shower at the back. The question is uh, whether the bed's long enough for Andre. And <laughs> wait, let's see where your feet go. Fits all the way up to the Ooh, we need a little bit more space. No, it's tight. Pretty cool storage space underneath the bed. Um, I can't stand up. Mm. It's, 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 yeah, it's a problem. But it's not bad actually. Not bad. Okay, yeah, these guys, I mean, you can see it's like people like me, he's got some problems in the campus. Doesn't leave a lot of headroom. This is a fairly short camp, this is like 6.3 meters, old, okay. fairly old school, but, hmm, not bad garage, we'll check it from outside. So what do you do when the first van you see ticks a lot of your boxes, but mm, you may be not quite ready. So this one we look at now is, is pretty old. It's a tough one, we have to think carefully about this one, because this one might just slip through our fingers. I think the most difficult fact is really the fact that there's not a lot available at the moment. So there aren't many more options. If there were a lot more options, we could just spend the next two, three days seeing a hundred campers and it would be easier to make a decision. But there's very little available <laughs> in Italy, even in all of Europe. But we'll have to do some homework today and tomorrow and by Monday we'll have to make a call because this thing's going to fly. We don't want it to slip through our fingers. No, no, and the truth is, if we don't spend too much, you know, what's the worst case scenario really? Mm, exactly, exactly. Okay, let's go for lunch. Ooh! Yes! Yay. Are you nervous? Uh huh. Suddenly, I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, this is this it, is guys. It. We are at Lisa's vaccination center <sighs> in Albino. 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 Yeah, I probably won't be able to film around there, but let's uh, go check it out and hope she gets the jab. Maybe mm -hmm. I get the jab too. Maybe. Oh. Very quiet. It's a Saturday <laughs> afternoon. Are you nervous? I'm a little bit nervous. Why? I don't know. No, I think it's we're fine. Strange doing something like this in another language, not in your own language. We're mm -hmm. on 64 and I'm 96. So when I call my number, we can go inside and then we can ask inside if it's possible for you to also get it. But can I go with you? I think so. Okay. But I can definitely go in there. Well, no luck for me, unfortunately, today. Lisa just went in for a shot. But um, they can only deal with actual reservations, so I'm going to come back in two days' time and try try again. Waiting for it to come out and see how it goes. I'm in here with the, in the vaccine room. Unfortunately, Andre is not able to come in with me. His appointment is only for Monday, so we have to come again on Monday. But uh, I'm sitting here waiting now. They're calling number 85 at the moment and I'm number 96, so it shouldn't be too long until I go in. No, you're bleeding. I've been jabbed and I'm bleeding. And now it looks cool, eh? <laughs> they wanted to wipe it off, but I said it looks cool. It looks more um, serious like this. Mm, gross, okay. mm, look at that, it's bleeding. Mm. Okay, so they gave me the Moderna. I think that's what they've got the most of at the moment. That's the easiest availability. And it's the same waiting period as the Pfizer, it would be no different. And second appointment is booked for the 19th of August. Okay. Unfortunately, you have got to come back on Monday no, no. and I need to accompany him. Not me, us. We us. have to come back on Monday. Okay, good job, so, well done, congratulations. Oh, good, woohoo! Boom, boom, let's uh, get out of here. Yeah. See you, Albino, see you Monday. See you Monday. Another camper stop. Yeah, you want to. Sure. 
Yo. Okay, we're making another stop, checking out if we can look at some more camper vans. Not that many available, unfortunately. Yeah, we're looking at another one here, yeah, but this is seven meter van. It's it's old school. Eh? Yeah. It does mean that it gives you a massive garage at the back mm. um, because underneath the bed over here and it gives you a second bed in front but that means it's also quite a bit taller no, this thing's huge mm. no this is this is just too big and this almost feels like there's a lot of wasted space mm. here and it feels narrower like this space feels tighter oh. mm. Ooh. there's gonna be a, might just be a big day we're going First going after some exercise, Monday morning, you know, start the week right. Then it's your vaccine shot. Jab, jab. Then we're going to Albino nearby for my first vaccine shot. And we're going to negotiate hard for a camper we looked at this weekend. So very exciting and a little bit nerve wracking. But by the end of this day, we might know whether we're actually buying this camper or not. Kind of scary actually. I didn't like, really think it was going to happen this fast, but it seems like it's a good deal. It's like a good deal. Yeah. And it does mean we're going to be able to then hopefully hit the road quite soon. Well, we'll see, but it feels like a commitment. Either way, let's get out and exercise a bit first. Okay, okay. let's go. Are you awake? No. Okay. Not at all. Go to police. There's a small park down here, so we have a little pressed for time, so we're not going to explore too much but we can at least go run around the track for a few minutes. Now, if you're running in a strange place, it can be a bit of a mission to find a route that works, but this hill situation doesn't help us much. Free at last. Okay, now the fun starts. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so not exactly lovely mountain track. But at least it's level, levelish, whitish. I think this circle is about a kilometer, eh? I think so, I know. So we're gonna go and we'll be at, I don't know, six, five, five. See how it goes. Okay, wish us luck. Uh, okay, yeah, that's running done and fast. Are we still gonna get home? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so allegedly I was injected somewhere. Yeah. You're not bleeding. I think they, they tricked me and just pretended to inject me because uh, I don't get the plaster. Okay, so we're done, believe it or not. And we got our second appointment in about four to five weeks. But so uh, now we have not much else to do, I guess. Now we can go camper van shopping. You first gotta wait five minutes and check that uh, nothing happens to you. I'm not even bleeding. I think I'm no, fine. No, I can't believe you're not bleeding. Not even a little hole. No. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's it. Boom. <laughs> like some meters. Done and dusted. All over. Now <laughs> oh, we can go on holiday. Yeah. Yay! Not too far though. Happy days. Oh, look at this cool bike. <laughs> Distracted much? No, I'm glad that was done. And. <laughs> Yes, uh, we'll be back in five weeks. Okay? Well, I'm really glad we can at least get the second dose. Yeah, together. we managed to rebook our uh, second appointment, so we at least come together. So we can only have to endure this once. One more time. Okay, let's go get a shopping. Oh, look at the village up there. Wow. Up there on the mountain or something. Oh. Hey, good morning, guys. This morning the weather's looking a little bit dreary. It's a little hot though. I'm going to try and just get some order in the, this little area behind the house. Looks like quite a mission, but might be an improvement. Up to over here. Uh, who doesn't like to make some work for themselves? You do know that there's a storm coming. I oh, know. 
know what they say. You work while you can. Put teeny up a little bit. All right, not quite done yet. We're getting there, slowly but surely. So we're gonna clear some bushes here. Crazy vegetative situation here. This is, uh, but this is starting to look a little bit better. At least the rainwater can find its way out. And let me show you guys out the shower. It's quite uh, nice. Oh, curly hose. <laughs> uh, nice and cold, but it works. Actually, strangely cool. We're sort of wearing long sleeves, which is crazy. Ah, oh, it's like a winter's day. Yeah, but this is another week. <laughs> Sort of done and dusted, be nice and lazy, slightly exhausted. Not sure if it's as a result of my morning activities or <laughs> yesterday's long run or uh, my vaccine shot yesterday, but it's a good excuse just to relax. We're still missioning on with our camper van excursion. There's no clarity yet on what we're doing or whether we're going to buy this guy we saw. No, it's actually a bit of a mixed emotions between excitement mm. and nerves, to be honest. Yeah, we, we didn't realize there's going to be such few options available so and we also know that this time of the year if we find something semi-suitable we must might have to jump on it otherwise we will have to wait until later in the year but um, at the same time every time we sort of just convince ourselves this is it let's go for it then we see another option that we want to consider mm. so having less options is sometimes actually better we'll have to <laughs> We'll have to, I'll, well, I'll do a video on exactly what type of uh, camper we're looking at and why we're deciding on a motorhome and not a van, but we still have to find something, I guess. <laughs> but we'll see, the, the, the next video will probably get some clarification on our purchase, and if all goes well, we might be the proud owners of a new Ooh, van the next maybe, week, maybe. but uh, you'll have to tune in for the next video to see that. A few exciting things coming up, we might do some trips, trippies, day trippies around the region, Otherwise, just camper van and craziness. And, but we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching, as always. Yes, and please give us a like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. It mm. all really helps us to grow our channel. And we'd really appreciate it even if you left a comment. But I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, but, but. What, what you said. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching and please subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Ciao. Bye. Okay. IT26R05. 3-8